Hey guys. So, <laughs> oh my god, I just want to cry. Okay, it's dramatic. I'm fully aware that this is a horrible angle and I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is. But I just filmed the entire lipstick declutter portion of this video and I literally lost all the footage. My memory, car my memory card literally like broke and ow! Oh my god, I just hit my elbow. Okay, this is... What is up? Thank you so much for coming back to my channel for another video, guys. If you are new, welcome. Hello. My name is Darlene Marie, and I'm really glad I have... And I'm... Oh, can I talk? I am really glad to have you here on my channel. Um, today, you guys, I have a huge makeup declutter video. I've just been going through my makeup drawers, and I have noticed that I have accumulated so much makeup from literally throughout the years that I just don't use. And I know for a fact, like, majority of all my makeup is super, super old, so I just needed to trash it. Um, but actually, a lot of it was stuff that has never even been used or that's not my color or that was like sent to me and it's just something that I wouldn't personally use um, so with that being said I have I'm actually gonna be planning a giveaway probably in about a couple of months with all this stuff that hasn't been used um, so stay tuned for another huge giveaway I know that my giveaway is currently on right now but I think it actually ends today or tomorrow. So if you're watching this video on this day, Sunday, then hurry up because you have just a little bit of time to enter. But yeah, I also want to say, oh, I also, if you watched the first clip, um, I filmed the whole lipstick declutter portion. And I lost all the footage. My memory card literally broke in my camera. Thank God it didn't stay like in my camera. I was able to get it out. Um, but it broke and I lost all the footage. So the original plan was to film this and like split it up between all the categories of my makeup. But since I lost that footage, I just thought I would compile this huge declutter video into one. But yeah, enough rumbling and let's just get on into the video. Okay, this is the overview of the first set in my Alex store. I have here highlighters, blushes, bronzers, concealers, I think like some gel stuff. I don't know what this is. Primers. I have like mascaras, eyeliners, and just miscellaneous. So we're going to go through all these. I'm going to go through each little thing like cubed one by one. So we're going to start with this one first. Here is my first little drawer. And I'm going to start from the back. So I have this Maybelline Master Bronze like highlighting palette. I haven't used this in a very long, long time. I have a lot of bronzer palettes. Um, but I remember I really did enjoy this. So I think I actually will keep this. Next I have are the two Casey Holmes and Smashbox collabs. I do love Casey and I will be keeping this because I just love Casey. I love the packaging of these. I am not a packaging hoarder, but these, for some reason, like her name is not on the actual product. It's only on the box, which kind of sucks. So um, I will be keeping the boxes. And this is the gold one. <laughs> and I literally have not touched it. I just, I'm not a gold highlight kind of girl. I, this is literally, I think I only swatched this one time when I made the review video. I'll be keeping these for sure. Next I have here are the Dose of Colors highlighters. Like just, this is literally packaging goals. I will be keeping these because again, they were a collab. They are limited edition. Okay, so next is my Laura Mercier highlighter. I believe this is actually broken. This is broken, yeah. I tried to fix this with alcohol, and it just, it did not work. But this is one of my favorite, fav this is like my favorite highlighter of all time, but it just did not work. And I actually don't think that, I think the alcohol made it worse. I don't really know. Um, actually, it's not that bad. I think maybe I had to let it sit for a while, but... I don't know if I want to keep it or not. Um, this was in the shade Indiscretion. I think I might end up just tossing this because it, it just it looks horrible. And I, I really, I just don't know if it's going to look the same as I did when I first bought it. So I think I might just toss this one. So next I have the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I haven't used this in a hot minute. But I keep telling myself that I need to. It's barely been swatched. And I will be keeping this. Because I have these two Wet n Wild highlighting powders. I do love this one in Precious Petals. 
but this one in Crown of My Canopy, just not my highlighting color, so I'll be giving this away to friends and family because um, I have used it, but it's just not really my color. Okay, so next I have is this Pop Beauty Bronzer. I don't think that this is really my color either, and I have used this. So this will go in the uh, friends and family pile. Next I have are these two Wet n Wild. Um, this is like a blush, and then this is a bronzer. I do like these. I have not used them as much, but I will be keeping this because keeping these because I do like these a lot. So this next thing I have is this Physicians Formula. I think this is like a bronzer, but I've had this for so long that I will be throwing this away. It's, it's just time for this to go. It's it's so old. Like look at it. It just looks so old. Okay, next I have this e.l.f. little highlighter. Um, this is also very, very old. And the thing about these e.l.f. highlighters, they are absolutely beautiful. But you literally have to scrape off the first layer in order to get the product. And this is very old. I know it's old, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss this one because this is broken. I, I, I don't like the idea of having to scrape something off to like get the color payoff, so I'll be throwing this one away. Next I have this Too Faced blush thingy. This was like, this is one of my favorite blushes and I have not repurchased it, but I think I just kept it for the packaging because <laughs> there is literally nothing in here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and toss this. It's time. It's time to toss it. Next I have this Milani blush. I used to love this blush, but it just, it looks so old, but I've had this for such a long time. So I will be tossing this because I, I just, I don't think it's, I think it's old. <laughs> Next, I have this Wet n Wild blush. This is in the shade Mellow Wine. This is a beautiful blush. Um, I don't use this color. I don't think it's very old, so I'll be giving this to friends and family, whoever wants it. Next, I have is this. And this is like a cream highlighter I got from an Ipsy bag. I, I know this is old, so I'm going to just go ahead and toss this one. I have an extra. Oh, this was part of my Benefit blush. I really, I don't know. I guess I'll keep that because you never know when you need another one. Next I have, oh my god, you guys. This was, I think, my favorite MAC blush in high school. But it's literally empty. But I did hear if you take back your um, old things, they will give you, like, a credit or something. Or they'll give you, like, a free lipstick. So I have a whole box full of old MAC things. So I need to put that in there because this is very, very old. Next I have this Buxom blush in Intoxicate. I haven't used this thing in forever. I know I recently got this like last year because I bought this at Marshalls. I forgot about it so I will be keeping it because I remember liking this blush a lot. So I'll keep this one for sure. Next I have this NARS blush in Super Orgasm. And okay, yeah. That's like literally time to go. I know this is very, very old. And I think I just kept it for the packaging because it's, it's NARS. But this is, it has to go. I'm going to toss this one. Next, I have this Benefit Majorette blush. I like the color. I will be keeping this. Next, I have this Tarte uh, blush. This was like one of the birthday blushes. I was obsessed with this blush in party forever, and I forgot about it. So, I'll keep this on because I do. I used to love this blush. I also have this Butter blush in the shade Vintage Rogue. I really like this blush, and when I first got it, it smelled so good, but... Now it smells like it has like an old lady smell and I can't deal with it. I can't deal with high scented smells. You guys, I have such a high sensitivity to smells. But it's a beautiful color so I'll give this away to friends and family, whoever wants it. Because I can't deal with this smell. I also have this Kula. Um, this is the mini um, bronzer that I have. So I will keep this one because um, you can never have too many Kula bronzers. I have my bigger one in like my everyday makeup pile, which I, I'm not going to get rid of anything in my everyday drawer, but I'll show it to y'all like at the very, very end. Wow. This was full, you guys. It was full. I mean, obviously y'all saw it, but wow, I'm pretty impressed with myself, so... I got rid of a lot, so now on to the little next tier, and I'll go ahead and pull this one out, and this one has kind of like liquid highlighters, concealers, we're going to go through it. Okay, so I have here this Essie Lauder Double Wear Light, I don't even know why I have it, it's old, and it's it's literally empty, so this is, this is trash, it has to go. Alright, next I have this Calvin Klein, 
Calvin, Calvin Klein liquid highlighter. I know this is old. I bought this like I want to say four years ago. It has product in here, but I know it's old and it, it has to go. It's just, I know it's very, very old. These three concealers here, I use these um, almost every day when I put makeup on. So we'll, we'll be keeping these three concealers for sure. Okay, next I have this NYX Strobe Highlighter. I don't use this one as much. I don't gravitate towards it. It kind of has like a purpley sheen to it. So I will be giving this away to friends and family. Next I have this Kat Von D Brow Pomade. I like this one a lot better than the Anastasia one. So I will be keeping this one for sure. Just ignore the shadow guys. I don't know why this is here. But just ignore it. Okay, so next I have this Maybelline Brow Precise. I bought this because a friend recommended it. And it works good. But this cap just does not stay on. And honestly, my brows are not big enough to like really carve them out. And carving them out is not my style. So I will be giving this away to friends and family. I did use it. Okay, so here is a dual lash glue that is clearly like empty. So that is trash. Um, I just recently bought this Maybelline cover stick. So I will be keeping this one as well. Here is this um, Maybelline Super Stay Eraser. I use this to take off the lipsticks which I decluttered but you guys lost all the footage but I will be I need this to take off these lipsticks so I will be keeping this one for sure next I have is this Stila lip I'm um, lip this is this Stila eyeshadows and this is the shade Kitten Karma this is absolutely beautiful so I will be keeping this for sure I don't know why it's like in the concealer pile but I don't need the packaging so I'm gonna go to packaging in a way Here's another lash glue. It's empty, so that's trash. All right. These are not my tweezers. I don't know where these came from, but they're not mine, but they work really good. So I don't know who these are. If you left them here, if I borrowed them, I am so sorry. But I guess I'll keep these tweezers and then my Sephora tweezers. And then, oh, my God. I didn't even know I had this. This is the, like, literally OG Gimme a Brow in the old packaging wow but is it okay it's dried out so that's sad okay that's trash wow okay i did not even know i have this nars concealer <laughs> this is a Ra radiant creamy concealer and is there product there's still product in here okay i'm definitely gonna keep this one all right so next i have this mac pro longwear concealer i remember i used to love this concealer and then one night I had went out with like some friends and I had went to Cowboys so we were like dancing and stuff and I remember I went to the restroom. I looked in the mirror and I saw literally like all these ugly creases and I was like oh my god I was so embarrassed. So I will never, this just does not work good on my eyes um, so I'll give this away to friends and family. Next, I have these um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealers. I forgot I had these too. Um, there's still products in here, so I did like these, so I will be keeping these. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot I have this Hourglass Primer. This is an amazing primer, but it is so expensive. I still have a like teeny bit of product in here, so I will keep this because I did like this primer a lot, but I forgot that I had it. Okay, so let's put everything back. Next I have is another drawer with like more random stuff in here. So this is the One Heck of a Blot Primer. I use this every day and I love this. So this should actually go in my everyday makeup drawer section. So I'll put that in there. This is one of my favorite highlighters, the Benefit What's. I will be keeping this because I do love this a lot. Um, I next have this Anastasia Clear Brow, brow Gel. I think this is actually empty so... This has probably got to go. It's, it's trash. Um, this is very old. This Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Concealer. It's old, so this is just going to go in the trash pile. Here is another Tarte Shape Tape. I think that this is empty. Oh, no. There's still product in here, so I will keep this. Next, I have this Dr. Brand No More Baggage. Um, I think I used this like one time, and I did like it, so I will be keeping this one. I have the Too Faced Glitter Glue Eye Primer, so I like this. I will keep this. I have this Essence Say No More Dark Circles. I don't think I've ever used this. So actually it looks swatched. So I will put this in a giveaway pile for friends and family. 
I have this NYX Mineral Stick Foundation. I think I used this like one time and it wasn't, I wasn't really a fan of it. So I will put this in the friends and family pile. I have this um, lip balm. So I will keep this because I do like it. I have a Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I This one has not been used. So I will give this away for a giveaway pile. Giveaway pile. All right have this super cute lip balm that my friend Valerie bought me. It says lip shit and it has like a mermaid on it. It's just the cutest thing ever. So I love this. I'm keeping this one for sure. Here I have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is old. Um, this is this is for sure trash. Okay, so Duo, this lip eyelash glue is for sure old. It's, it's just trash. This has to go. Okay, so next I have this um, Benefit Highbrow highlighting pencil. I will keep this because I do like this one. Oh, okay. Next I have this Olay Eye Awakening Cream. This is very old, so I will be throwing this one away because I know for sure that it's, it's very, very old. Next I have this Benefits 24 Hour Brow Setter. This one still has product in it, so we'll be keeping this one. I forgot. This is the Tarte Highlighter and Stunner. I think this may be broken, so I'm going to be careful. Yep, it's broken. But this is a beautiful highlighter, but it's it's just broken. And I think I tried to fix it with alcohol and it did not work. But this smells like vanilla. It smells so good. You know what? I'm just going to try to fix it one more time. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to throw it. Okay, so I'm going to be going into the next little drawer here. So I have these e.l.f. blotting sheets. These are very old. I already know these are old, so I'm going to go ahead and toss these. I have some random sample foundations that I use for video reviews and... I'm just going to go ahead and throw these away. These are probably just very old. I have a sample of something, but I think I have, um, this packaging just looks like all yellow and warped, so this just has to be old. I'm going to go ahead and throw this. Oh my gosh, here's another hourglass primer and a, like, a little sample. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this because, um, love this stuff. I guess I have this MAC strobe cream in the shade Pink Light. I use this whenever I do makeup, so I will be keeping this. Oh my gosh, I forgot I have this mirror. This is an aerial mirror, so I'm for sure keeping that one, obviously. Next, I have just random sharpeners, which I think I honestly might get rid of them because they're very, very old. I have this Burt's Bees chapstick that just looks very old, so I'm going to throw this away. I have another... <laughs> eyelash glue and clear white I'm gonna throw that away and then I have like this little eye lore um, glue and tweezers but I don't use these for lashes so I'm gonna just throw that away I just got this heart sex kitten liner so I'm gonna keep this this came in my fab fit fun box so I'll keep that one I have eyelash curlers I know that these are for sure very old so I'm gonna throw these away these I still use every single day so we'll be keeping this one I have a Super Sizer Cover Girl um, mascara, so this is old, so I'm going to toss this one. Let's see. I have another Anastasia Brow Gel. This is probably old, so I'm going to go ahead and toss this one. I have some floss. <laughs> it's always good to have floss. Next, I have this. See, this is the Brow Gal. I don't think I'm going to give this away to friends and family because I just I don't use that. I have here a... Too Faced Shadow Liner. I will keep this because I, I bought this at Marshalls thinking I was going to use it, but I haven't used it because I don't really do crazy eye looks, but it's just going to motivate me to do like more darker eye looks. So I will keep this one. I have here some samples. I don't use these, so I will be throwing these away. Extra little eyelash pad thingies. I'll keep those. I have here a super... Day liquid eyeliner. I don't use these, so I will be giving these to friends and family. I have a goof proof brow pencil, which I think might be empty, so I will, yeah, it's, there's nothing in there, so I'm going to throw that away. I have an eyebrow pencil that is just not my color, so I'll put that for friends and family. I have this Too Faced Lights that, um, what is this, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, but this is old and I think it's dried out, so I will be giving this one away. Oh my gosh, my battery is flashing. It might die. Oh no. Okay, so next I have this Mary Kay Eye Crayon. I think this is an eyeliner, and I do like this, actually. 
I think it's old. I'm going to throw this one away. I think it's very old, actually. Okay, so I have all of these um, eyeliners or gel liners. And honestly, I just I don't use eyeliners. This is a Maybelline um, metallic eyeliner. I've never used this purple eyeliner, so I will do this for a giveaway pile. Because I just, I don't, I don't, it's just not my color. Keeping this, keeping this. Okay, here's another eyebrow pencil that might be empty. Let's see. I don't know why I keep empty stuff. Okay, I'm going to throw this one away. This scandalous eyes, this is old. This is just trash. I have this MAC eyeliner, which I still use in the shade Raisinette, so I'll keep that one. This Demi Lovato eyebrow pencil, this is not my shade, and they actually discontinued NYC makeup, so I'm going to give that one away. Next, I have this LA Colors liquid liner. I don't use liquid liners, so I'll give that away. I have a LA Colors auto eyeliner. I just, I don't use eyeliners like this, so those are just going to be giving away. Same thing with this next eyeliner give away and then this is like just liquid eyeliner I don't use liquid eyeliners so give away and this Marc Jacobs eyeliner um it looks kind of old so I'm just gonna throw this one away all right we're going pretty fast that's because my camera's about to die so here I have this uh, roller lash mascara I do like this it's really good at separating lashes so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one I have a sample of the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is very old, so I'm going to go ahead and just throw this one away. I have this Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. I don't think I've ever used this, so I can put this for a giveaway pile. Giveaway. Another mascara. This is old. I know I'm going to throw it away. Okay, just a random Tide pin. This, oh, I'll probably keep that one, obviously. And I have some perfumes in here. I will keep these because obviously perfumes never really go old. So I will be keeping these. On to the next drawer. So in this drawer here, I have like a bunch of skincare, lashes, face masks. Just like honestly, oh and I think this thing is like single eyeshadows. So we're going to go through all of this next. So pulling out this first container here which has like a majority of literally like you guys like random stuff lashes palettes i don't know just literally random stuff in here so we're gonna go through it i just bought a brand new eyelash glue and some lashes because um i i ran out of my favorite um walmart lashes but i didn't go to walmart so i had to buy these and then i couldn't find my lash glue so i had to buy a brand new one so these are obviously gonna keep because they are brand new Whenever I went to StyleCon, the um, Source Vital people gave me a little goodie bag, but this stuff is very, very highly scented, so I will not be um, keeping these, but I will use these for future giveaways since I have not used these, so I'll put this in the giveaway pile. Here I have a sample deodorant that has not been used. Actually, no, this is a sports balm, so I'll put this um, for a giveaway pile as well. I know I have a few of these Glam Glow masks, so I'll go ahead and keep one and then put one for a future giveaway pile since I have not used these. Here is a like little mini Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I think this one is like, yeah, this is cracked. So I'm going to go ahead and just toss this one. Um, here I have a gel liner and smudger. This is brand new, so I'll go ahead and keep this for a future giveaway pile because I, I don't really use liquid eyeliners or um gel liners here i have this like little eyeshadow quad i've had this forever it is so old it, these shadows were really really good but um it's just really old so i think i'm gonna just go ahead and toss it because it's very very old next i have this little estee lauder eyeshadow palette i think that's what it is okay like is it gonna open um this has hardly been used so i'll go ahead and put this for friends and family whoever wants that Next, I have another eyeshadow palette. That, this is a Sephora one. I'll keep these because you can never have enough neutrals and like warm tone colors. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this palette. And then I have these two shimmers that I bought from this local brand. Um, actually, these are like pressed glitters. I realized 
that I cannot work with these pressed glitters. I don't like them. I don't like them on my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and give these to any friends or family that want them because I just, I just don't like these. I just can't work with them. Next I have this e.l.f. Um, I want to say this is um, like a cheek stain. Honestly, I don't know what this is, but I've never ever used this. So I will put this for a giveaway pile. Next I have this e.l.f. smudge pot. Um, I used this like one time and I just wasn't a fan of the color. So I'm going to go ahead and give this to friends and family since I did use this. have one of my favorite single eyeshadows. I use this almost every day when I do eyeshadow. It's just the perfect base color and like a good transition so I'm definitely going to keep this one. It's used all the time. Next I have this e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This is very very old so I'm just going to go ahead and toss it because I know it's very old. I also have this Smashbox primer oil. I don't um, typically like this and it's just so tiny so I'm going to put this for friends and family pile. Next I have this, let's see, this is like, I want to, like a loose eyeshadow pigment. I already know I'm not going to use this. Um, it's been sitting here, so I'm just going to go ahead and give this to friends and family. Alright, so next I have this NYX um, single eyeshadow. It has literally never been used. So I'm going to go ahead and put this for a future giveaway since it has not been used. Next I have this L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner. Um, it has been used, but like I said, I don't like gel liner, so I'm going to go ahead and put this for the friends and family pile. Here I have these two L'Oreal Infallible. These are like little eyeshadow pods. I will be keeping this one because it's a really beautiful color, but I will be giving this purple one away. I don't even know why I bought this color. Like, I don't know what I'm thinking like when I'm buying stuff sometimes. Like why I would never wear this color. So I'm gonna put this for friends and family pile. I also have these two wet and wild little glitter things. You guys, these literally suck so bad. Um you put this like on your eyes and your face and it just comes right off. I thought that they were eyeshadows, but they are just like kind of glitters. Um I don't recommend these and I think I got these at the Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna put these in the friends and family pile because yeah, um I don't like those. Next I have these two Wet n Wild Loose Pigments. I don't use them just because I don't really use color that much, but they are really pretty. So I will be keeping these because hopefully I'll be inspired to just try color one day. So I'm going to keep these two. Um, here I have this really pretty Milani Single Eyeshadow. Um, I'm going to keep this because this is a really beautiful color. Um, next I have this Stila glitter. Oh, I think I already said that, but I'm definitely keeping this because this is one of my favorite glitters. I love this eyeshadow. Um, I have this Pacific Glue eyeshadow that's like broken, so I'm just going to toss that. Um, this is, oh, this is a little sample of strobe cream that's empty, so toss that. Here I have, um, I think this is like an eyeshadow, but it looks, it's just, I know it's old, so I'm just going to throw this. Um, I don't really know what this is. I'm going to just throw this as well. I'm going to throw, just throw all of this. Throw this too. Um, here is a, I want to say this is an e.l.f. smudge pot. Um, I don't use these, so I'm just going to give this away. Um, here is a Mica Beauty Cosmetics, Cosmetics Shimmer Powder. Um, this has actually never been used, so this would be a good for the giveaway pile. Wow, I'm finding so many things that I have not used. Um, this is, I want to say, like a loose eyeshadow pigment. Um, yeah, this these are just not my thing. But this looks very pretty. You know what? I think I'm going to keep this. You can't tell on camera at all, but I think I'm, I'm going to keep that and, and kind of play around with it. Wow, you guys. So this whole container was full, and from what I have left are these three, these items here. So, wow, I feel accomplished. So I'm going to set this aside. And then I'm going to take out this next little container that I have here. Um, I use this every day for my hair. This is the Redken, um, like a, kind of like a leave-in conditioner. So I will be keeping this one for sure. Here is another Source Vital product. I will be giving this away. Um, this is the Origins um, Genzing Moisturizer. It is pretty empty. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss it. 
Here is another um, sample. So I'll just put this for any friends or family who want that. This is a tart drink of H2O. I love this stuff. There's like a just a teeny bit left. So I, I might just like finish this today. So I'll just keep that. Um, here are these Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repairs. I honestly don't like these on my skin. Um, I feel like they just don't work well. So I'm going to go ahead and give these away to friends and family. I think I have used those. Here is an Estee Lauder Advanced Nighttime Cream. I will keep this one. forgot I had that. I used to love that stuff. Here are um, two, same thing, the Renewative Ultimate Youth Cream. This is literally brand new. Wow, okay, I need to use these. Okay, so here are um, some Origins products. I will be keeping these because these are fairly new, and I do like Origins products. And then I have this Advanced Nighttime Eye Repair from Estee Lauder. I think this is very old, so you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to toss this because it looks really old. So, wow, I feel, again, accomplished. All of my little skincare products, I feel good. I feel good, you guys. Things are happening. We're moving along here. All right, so now I have just a bunch of random stuff. I'm just going to put this on my counter here and just go through it fairly quickly since it's just, like, a lot of random stuff. Okay. So I have a bunch of these um, L'Oreal Sublime Bronzer Towelettes. I'm just going to give these to friends and family because I don't like bronzer. I don't like to have bronze skin. I just, I'm not going to use those. So give those away. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and keep all of these face masks because I like these and I do use these. So I'm going to keep all of these for sure. And I will be getting rid of um, the rest of these. So let's see. This is... These are like just a bunch of sample things and you guys tell me if I'm crazy but I think I'm like the only person that doesn't like sample products and I feel like you can't really figure out what you like with a sample product like or if it works good for you. I don't know does that make sense? Am I just crazy? Um, I just I just can't really do the samples. I don't I really don't know why. They just, they just don't work for me. I'm going to go ahead and put these collagen eye masks. These were from the company Body Blends. I'm going to put these for a future giveaway. And same thing with these. I just honestly feel like they don't do anything for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these for a future giveaway. I just I feel, like, I feel like they're almost gimmicky. I mean, there might be somebody that they work good for, but I just feel like they do not work on my skin for some reason like I don't know why they just do not work. Last but not least, I have in here this Snow White's like eyeshadow palette thing. It takes up space, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this for. Um, I don't know if I should do this for the giveaway or the friends and family. I think I'm just gonna do friends and family because I think I've had this for a while. So friends and family will do. You guys obviously saw it before. Now look at the after. Like. Wow, I got rid of a bunch of stuff. You guys, this drawer was full to the top. I'm just so impressed. I'm so proud of myself. All right, so on to the next drawer. So this is the next drawer. It's literally full of a bunch of random stuff like hair ties, foundations, powders. Really, you guys, just random stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do this drawer next. I'm just going to go ahead and pull out my little hair tie thing and just stick this to the side because obviously... I need all my hair tie stuff. So these are my makeup wipes that I use. Okay, my dog just hit my tripod. Okay, so these are makeup wipes that I use. And I'm actually going to move these to the second drawer, which is like my skincare stuff. So I'm going to put those there since they have like a home now. And I'm going to go through these foundations first. Okay, so this is like my little foundation drawer. And this is my all-time favorite product. I know I'm going to keep this as the uh, Mabel L'Oreal, sorry, BB cream. So I'm gonna keep this. I know I love and use this. So I know for sure I do not want these. This is the Maybelline Master Prime. It did not work for my oily skin. Same thing with this dewy foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these for the friends and family pile because I did use these. 
This MAC foundation, this Studio Fix, is literally, actually this is the Match, Match Master. This is very old. I will keep this though for the packaging for the MAC so I can take it back to them. These foundations I am using right now, so I'm going to be keeping these two. I have not used these in a while, but I used to love these BB creams. I will keep these because I do love these. This Sonia Kashuk foundation, I this was my hands down favorite foundation, but since they stopped making it, I I just felt like I had to stop using it because I, I love this foundation so much. It was my absolute favorite, but the more you would use it, like I just I just had to stop using it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it. I know that there's like literally nothing left in this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it because there's really no point in keeping it. Next I have the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I do like this, so I will be keeping it. This, you can tell, just looks old from the side, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss this because it looks old. This, I know, is very old, so I'm going to go ahead and toss this one as well. This X Plus is just about empty, but I will keep it for the, the little bit that is left. Next are the Kat Von D Lock It Primer and then the foundation. I just, I honestly, you guys, this is just too full coverage for me. And I wasn't really a fan of the primer, so I'm going to go ahead and put these to friends and family, whoever wants these, because obviously they're used and they're, like, not that much left. Okay, so next I have are these, like, lip palette type things. I will save these for future giveaways. I did insert one of these in my giveaway that I'm having right now so I'm gonna save these for future giveaways because they're actually really good they have lip palettes they have lip colors and eyeshadows this here is a lip palette that I will be keeping because in case everyone to do a freelance of lip palettes are I think the best things to do for that so I will be keeping that just for that reason go through this here and I think these are just like mainly powders in here so let's check this one out so here I have my favorite RCMA powder definitely gonna keep this one little lip palette we'll be keeping this one as well here i have this fit me loose powder i love this stuff but the more i started to use it i realized that this was very dark on my skin tone it's a great powder but this is just not my color so i'll be putting this in the friends and family pile so i have this japanesque translucent powder it's in like a compact version i know that this is very old and um i'm just gonna go ahead and trash this because i know that this is at least like five years old so here is this L'Oreal powder. It's literally like, this is this is just trash. Shaping cream, uh, need that. Thick thigh problems. This is a Dove exfoliating body polish. Um, this should actually go like in the restroom with all the shower stuff. Here is a MAC powder. Um, I will be keeping this so I can take it back to MAC. Here is a Wet n Wild eyeshadow. Never used this and these were limited edition. So I will put these for the giveaway pile. Here is um, a silicone beauty blender. I will keep this because this one actually works really, really well. All right, so here is a YSL BB cream, you guys. I was obsessed with this because I used to love Dulce Candy, and she, like, recommended this and raved about it, and honestly, it, like, literally did nothing. And I paid, like, 60 bucks for this, literally, for the name. Um, and I kept the packaging all these years because I was like, it's YSL, I have to keep it, but it's time to be thrown away. It, I'm throwing this away. <laughs> it's got to go. Here is this um, concealing ridge filler. I really don't know what this is. I think it's like a lip, uh, a nail polish, but I'll put this for the giveaway pile. Um, I have some hair stuff in here. Oh my gosh, I forgot I have this. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye stuff. Oh, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye makeup. It's like a melting bomb. I'm going to keep that one. I have a highlighting palette. Okay, this is going to go over here, keeping that one for sure. Here I have another um, Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. I think I lost the brushes for this, but I'll put this for friends and family, whoever wants this. And then I have a really old beauty blender, so that is obviously going to be trash. Alright, so everything that was laying loosely in the third drawer, I just put it in here so we can go through this pretty quickly. First thing I have is this Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. I think I got this on my FabFitFun box. I have not used this, and... Like, what is this? Oh, this is a moisturizer. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and keep this one. I have this, like, hair glitter. I'm going to keep that because Halloween. This is my Laura Mercier packaging, but this is actually my RCMA powder. I repurposed the container. Oh, I just spilled that. I repurposed the container, and I just put it in here because I had run out of my translucent powder. 
Here I have some of Bites Beauty lipsticks that my friend gave me for Christmas. I should actually just put these with my lipsticks because I love these and I'm going to keep these. So that should be moved. Um, I also have this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. I don't know why this is in here because I'm going to go through my palettes separately. So definitely going to keep that, but I put that with my palettes. Some random stickers. Like, why is it in here? Then I have a Better Skin Powder. I use this on the daily, so keeping this one, it's just like a backup. I have my Ben Nye Banana Powder. I got this container from Amazon if you're interested. I have this Papaya Enzyme Pill. I just got this on my Fat Fit Fun Box, so I'm going to keep this one. I just also got this from my Fat Fit Fun Box. This is the Kula, uh, Kula Classic Sunscreen, so I will be keeping this one as well. And then last but not least is my Kate Somerville Exfolicate. This stuff is freaking amazing. I also got this on my FabFitFun box. Um, there will be a link in the description box because this stuff is just amazing, you guys. And this literally goes for 50 bucks for this size. And that's how much you pay for the FabFitFun box. And this is, like, I'm not kidding, one of the best exfoliators ever. So I'm definitely going to keep this because I, I love it. Okay, so can y'all believe from everything that I had in this drawer, this is all that I'm left with. That is literally insane, you guys. Insane. Okay, so now we're going to go through all my palettes. I have them in like a separate caddy that's like off to the side. I have a feeling that it's going to be hard to part with some of these palettes. But I feel like regardless, I have done a pretty good job with everything else. So if I keep all the palettes, I won't feel that bad. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go through these first. Right off the bat, this here. I know. I don't like this. This was. This is literally a waste of money. These bronzers are just full of so much shimmer. Um, I'm just not a shimmer gal, so this is going to go in um, the friends and family one. I would love to put this in the giveaway, but it has been used, so friends and family pile. Um, next, I have this NYC Demi Lovato palette. I will keep this only because it has Demi Demi's name on it, and I love her, even though this is no longer available, um, so I will be keeping this palette. Next palette I have is this blush and bronzer duo i love this and i use this pretty much every day so i'll be keeping this one as well you guys saw my comfort zone palette um this one earlier that this is the old comfort zone palette i like this better than the newer one so i'm going to be keeping this one this is um ugh, empty just a mirror so i'm going to go ahead and just toss that one next i have my tartlet tart palette um keeping this one obviously i don't use it as much but i really need to so i'm going to be keeping this one as well Next I have is this Too Faced palette. Um, honestly, I really don't know why I bought these because these colors are just not even in me. I think I really only bought it for the packaging, but I need to use it, so I am going to keep it. And I, I just, I really like it, so I'm, I'm going to keep it. I know I'm going to use it. This, I bought this for Halloween makeup. It's just like a paint palette, so I am going to keep this for Halloween this year in case I decide to use this. Um... This I received in my Fat Fit Fun Box. I believe it was in the December palette, um, the December box. But these are just not my colors. I don't like cool tone shades. I wish I had the packaging to give this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put this in the future giveaway pile. These are not been touched. I wish it had the box, but I don't. But um, I know that you guys would still appreciate this because it has not been used. I promise. And you can tell by just watching it, um, it has not been used. So I'll put this for the giveaway pile. I already know I'm going to keep all these, so I'm just going to just show you guys. This Sweet Peach, I'm going to keep it. Kathleen Lights, I'm definitely going to keep this. Shade and Light Palette, of course I'm going to keep it. This Little Tarte Palette, of course I'm going to keep it. Um, Anastasia Glow Kit, the OG Glow Kit, definitely going to keep this one. Lorac Palette, keeping. <laughs> this um, Beach Cosmetics, I literally, you guys, I only like this palette for the blushes but that's enough for me to keep this palette because this is only like $12 so I'm keeping this palette and my Jaclyn Hill palette I cannot live without this so I am definitely going to be keeping this palette so um I didn't do the best with the eyeshadow palettes but I feel like I did a lot good with everything else so I'm going to put the palettes back and show you guys the end result okay guys I just wanted to show you guys the end result I know that you guys um did not or were not able to see the lipstick part since I um, lost the footage, but I have a ton of lipsticks that I included in the like bottom that I'm giving away to friends and family because I they're just not my color or I don't like them. Um, and 
yeah, so this is all of the friends and family stuff. It's inside the Fat Fit Fun box, but I thought it would fit best in here. This is just full of makeup I don't use. It's not my color or just does not go with my skin type. Um, so this is all that stuff and then a bunch of like samples. Um, so I'm just going to stick this all in here for any friends or family. You guys, the first come first served in my house. Um, this is all for y'all. Um, so this is how my lipstick little set looks now these were full to the top of lipsticks so i have here drugstore liquid lipsticks um this is all kind of like high-end liquid lipsticks and like little sticks and then lip glosses and lip liners and then concealers and eye primers and this is also full of lipsticks i put changed everything that was in here was all old so i switched them all out for newer items these are some other lipsticks i use and then here are all my MAC lipsticks and then my Dose of Colors and then Maybelline. So I feel like I did pretty good with the lipsticks and everything else. And you guys, um, what's wrong with the lighting here? All this stuff here is all trash. Um, it's This is all just very, very, very old stuff. So I know that this is trash. This is just has to go. So yeah. I feel like I did a really good job. I cannot believe um, how it all turned out. And let me just show you guys the drawers. So this was my first drawer. And I went ahead and just put this little container for my everyday makeup. I used to have my everyday makeup in the bottom tier of that thing. So which that will be here. And then I have the bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. And then some loose eyeshadows in the back here. And then I have here skincare items, hair care products, and then face masks and um, eyelashes here. And then, and then this drawer, um, which is like the one thing I'm most impressed by is my foundations and powders, hair stuff, um, lip palette, and then this is all the future giveaway stuff. So keep an eye out, you guys. This stuff, I'm putting it back here so I can keep adding stuff. But this is all future giveaway. Like, it's, it's full of brand new stuff. So future giveaway stuff is in that. And the um, bottom two drawers are just like nail stuff and then like my sunglasses. So yeah, I feel like I did a pretty good job.